we need to move on to what's on the horizon. And, you know, amidastorin has been approved as uh, for FLT3 mutated AML. We're not quite certain if it's because it's directed at FLT3 or it's a more uh, uh, promiscuous kinase inhibitor. But we're going to test that now because now we have three very potent, more selective drugs, quizartinib, gilteritinib, and cronolinib. And so I'm going to have each of you talk about one. I'm going to have, no, I'm going to have you start Jorge. with quizartinib. Yeah. Jorge. All right, so quisartinib um, was um, uh, developed as a much more selective uh, FLT3 inhibitor. It, it, it has, um, it, it, you know, when you, Eunice mentioned earlier this kinome and you see it, you know, light up as a Christmas tree and with, with mitostorin. This is very selective, very, very few kinases are inhibited and the potency against FLT3 is 10, tenfold higher than the next uh, 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 kinases that it inhibits. So much more selective um, than, than the others and, and much less protein bound, which you know, could be beneficial. So, um, so that led to the initial development of this drug. It, 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 was, uh, it went through the phase one um, and, and particularly in the phase two, it showed very nice activity Patients with free 3 mutations, around 50% of, of responders. Most of these are CRIs. Uh, there are a few CRs, and, uh, but, but most of these are CRIs, so there's incomplete uh, count recovery um, platelets and or uh, neutrophils that do not recover fully. Um, and um, one thing that was interesting with the development of quizartinib is that we were way off on our MTD calculations yes. um, in the initial phase one. We, we started saying that it was 200 milligrams, and then we learned that that, you know, grossly exceeded what we can safely do for in terms of QTC prolongation, which didn't translate into clinical problems for the patients, but you don't want to have too many patients going into the 500s of QTC. So, so we learned that lower doses were equally effective in terms of the, the CR plus CRI rate, uh, but greatly diminished the, the, uh, the risk of QTC prolongation to the point that now it's, it's very, very manageable, very you know, minimal. Um, and, and it's shown you know, very good activity, again, in the 50% range for CRCRI, which is actually very impressive. Uh, responses are, are transient, you know, single agent, they're transient, but, but, but still last you know, a, a few months. Um, other than the QTC prolongation, very well tolerated drug, oral, of course. And um, so, so it's gone now to this uh, randomized study in, in the salvage setting, quantum R, which, uh, which was finished accrual. So we're going to have to, you know, we're going to see the data soon um, in, in uh, randomized and salvage patients to, with FLT3 mutation to receive either qu uh, quizartinib or the preferred salvage therapy. Um, it, 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 is, it is not a inhibitor that, that hits the A35, so that is one, and one area that, that's uncovered. Um, and I, I don't think that's very interesting, and it's, it was left out there, but uh, in the non free 3 mutated patients, you have about a 30% uh, CRCRI rate, which is not time. negligible. So, you know, that's something that was left out there because obviously the focus is free 3 mutated, but, but there is something there that for the future, we need, to, we need to think what to do with it. So, and the other study that is ongoing is very similar to the Ratify trial That's correct, of yeah. adding um, uh, quizartinib in sequence with standard 7 and 3 and high dose RSE, and then also a, a one year maintenance. Right. Very uh, quantum I, similar. First, yeah. Quantum first, the yep. similar design. And that study's ongoing, uh, not accruing so well in the United States anymore, right, because unfortunately. There's alternatives. That's yeah. right, they're alternatives. Yeah. It's hard to randomize mm -hmm. somebody to a placebo controlled sure. trial, yeah. but it is ongoing, and uh, so hopefully we'll get some answers um, there.